Hello students. Today we are going to discuss about plume behavior. First of all, let's see what is it plume. Plume is a smoke coming out of a stack or chimney of an industry or it is a smoke coming out of the exhaust of vehicles or smoke coming from volcanoes or from a forest fire. Plume behavior. The behavior of the plume that is emitted from a tall stack or any other source depends on the degree of stability of the atmosphere and the prevailing wind turbulence. Now the degree of stability of the atmosphere means the atmosphere may be unstable or stable or neutral and also the wind turbulence which may be due to the sun's radiation or due to the friction in the atmosphere. Based on this, the behavior of the plume is classified as loping, coning, fanning, fumigation, lofting and trapped. Looping. Looping is a type of plume behavior which occurs under super adiabatic condition. In our earlier classes, we have seen what is a super adiabatic condition that is when the environmental lapse rate is greater than the adiabatic lapse rate. It occurs when there is light to moderate wind and usually seen during hot summer afternoon when large thermal eddies are present. Eddies carry portion of the plume to the ground level for a short time period causing momentary high concentration of pollutant near the stack. So in this area where the concentration of pollutant becomes very high on the surface is the area where which is affected by the pollution. Coning. This type of a plume behavior occurs under neutral atmospheric condition and usually seen during cloudy sky both day and night when moderate to high winds prevail. Plume is vertically symmetric about the plume line. Plume line is a imaginary line through the center of the plume parallel to the ground. Major part of the pollutant is carried downwind fairly far away before reaching the ground level. Fanning. The fanning occurs under strong atmospheric inversion conditions. When light winds prevail, usually seen during early morning in all seasons, when lapse rate is stable which suppresses the vertical mixing but not the horizontal mixing. Plume travels parallel to the ground in a flat, straight, ribbon-like pattern downwind up to 10 to 20 kilometers downwind. For high stack, this is a favorable condition since plume does not cause ground pollution. So as you can see from the figure, the plume is carried as a straight ribbon up to 10 to 20 kilometers. So it remains at such a high level of the level of the stack because of which it does not create much pollution in the ground level. Fumigation. This type of a plume behavior occurs during clear sky when light winds prevail and an inversion breaks up. During this time, the lapse rate changes from stable to unstable. Observed during early morning when sun comes up, a stable layer of air is seen above the release point of the plume. Unstable air lies below the plume. 
it causes the pollutants to mix downward towards the ground in large lumps and this condition occurs for a short duration of time maybe 30 minutes. So as you can see from the figure there is a stable layer at a higher altitude as a result of which above the plume line there is no much spread of the pollutant but the, there is an unstable layer below the plume line as a result of which the pollutant gets thoroughly dispersed towards the ground level as a result of which it causes pollution at the ground for short duration, duration maybe 30 minutes. Lofting, it is inverse of fumigation. The lapse rate in the upper portion of the plume is unstable and that in the lower portion is stable. When the pollutants are emitted above the inversion layer, they are dispersed vigorously in the upward direction. The top of the inversion layer acts as a boundary for the spread of the pollutants towards the ground. It is the most favorable plume types as far as ground level concentration are considered. It is one of the goals of tall stack operations. So as you can see from the figure, the above the plume line there is a unstable layer and below the plume line it is stable. So there is thorough uh, mixing of the pollutants into the atmosphere in the upper layers of the atmosphere that is above the plume line whereas the pollutant does not mix with the atmosphere below the plume line as a result of which there is very less pollution on the ground level and the pollutants are getting dispersed or diluted completely in the upper atmosphere. This is a favorable condition as far as the ground pollution is considered. Next type of plume behavior is trapped. It occurs when the plume is trapped between two inversion layers or stable layers. The diffusion of the effluent is strictly rest restricted to the unstable layer between the two stable layers. It is associated with subsidence inversion. It lasts for several days and it is the worst pollution situation. So there as you can see from the figure, above the plume and below the plume, there are two stable layers and only in the plume area when, where it is being emitted, there is an unstable layer. So the pollutant is only mixed in that particular area and stable layer between the two stable layers. As a result of which, the, if the pollutant is carried to a long distance in the unstable layer itself and it is not completely mixed with the upper atmosphere. And since this lasts for many days, it is a worse situation as far as the pollution is considered. So this is all about the plume behaviors. Thank you.